So something we get asked a lot at the events is uh, what what are the treats that we're using? Because people who uh, report that their pets are not very food motivated uh, really have great experiences with these treats and how their pets respond to them. So I wanted to make this short little video to show you guys what the treats are that we use. Um, it's called Red Barn Meat Roll, and it comes in kind. Of, it looks like kind of a like a like a hamburger package almost and it comes in a small size and a big size of course we use the big size of photos by feist because we go through an awful lot of these things um, there's not much of the wrapper left here you can see I've gotten this one chopped down quite a bit but it's the, the beef recipe is the one that we use at photos by feist so it comes in the the roll and what you need to do is you can slice it up okay so we I cut it into thin slices. I actually make two sizes of treats, right? I've got kind of the small ones and then the bigger ones here for different size dogs. And these are actually going to become the smaller treats. And I've got some big ones that are cut up right here. And a tip that I got from the company that makes this is that you can cut the you can buy the meat roll and then you can cut it up. And I always stick it in these Pyrex dishes and then um, you can freeze them and then pull them out of the freezer as you know you use them so uh, that's what I do I usually will get a roll and chop it up put it into all these different Pyrex dishes and then use them at the events and as you all know they are highly effective and uh, I found them actually from a trainer that I hired to um, help me work with Caesar at one point although he has pretty much fallen off of most of the training bandwagon but uh, they the treats do really work because on a scale of 1 to 10 with 1 being ridiculously food motivated and 10 being could care less uh, Caesar is really about a 9 on the scale so um, as far as food goes because I've always taught him like leave it and and he doesn't really um, take food I've actually left dinner for him before and come home from wherever I was and found out that he hadn't even eaten it and I realized I forgot that I told him he could take it so anyway um, he's not very food motivated but he goes nuts over this stuff watch hey Caesar come I want you to sit okay shake oh, he smells the treats shake okay that's a good shake hey Caesar I want you to sit stay Ah, 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 ah. He's excited because the UPS man just came too, so he's still kind of worked up. Caesar, I want you to go down. Ah, ah, ah. You heard what I said, down. Okay. All the way. No. <laughs> he really, he really, he really wants these. Like I said, he's. I don't work with him as much as I should, so he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> All right, quiet, quiet. I want you to go down. All the way. Uh, you heard what I said. All the way. <laughs> See, <laughs> he's, he's, he's being act, he's acting up because I've filmed this video probably about four times already. Now, look, I want you to go down. Show everybody how you go all the way. You heard what I said. Okay, there he is, down like a dead horse. I just love this one. All right, I'm gonna put ah uh, ah uh, put down your face. I want uh, you leave it. Good boy. All right, you can take it. Hey Caesar, I want you to sit. Speak. <coughs> Good boy. Quiet. Good boy. And as you can see, we have always carcasses of toys laying all around. Here's his water bowl. 10,000 carcasses of toys. Because why? Do you chew holes in your toys? Yes, you do. So there it is, folks. Red Barn Meat Roll. That's the name of the treat the seat that Photos by Feist uses. And as you can see, dogs that even aren't very food motivated just love that stuff.